Alrighty, we are back. Now let's figure out how much is not saved. Uh, okay, this is still up here. Let's go. So yeah, I don't know. We had this happen earlier today. Actually about two hours ago, we lost power for just a few moments. And that was the same thing right here, just boom, nothing. And then maybe 20 seconds later, it came back. But it's house-wide, so I would need to, to keep the stream up. Assuming that all of the equipment between me and the knock was also able to be powered without power right i would need to have an ups on the system and i need to have an ups on my main wired switch and then my also i've got a gateway that i do all my ad filtering through that would have to be on an ups and then i would need an ups for uh, for the fiber switch in the basement that our fiber internet comes in on but that would then be contingent on all of the uh, the fiber hatch points between here and the knock to also be on battery backup. But we are back. We'll assume we have more consistent power going forward. Glitch in the matrix. Just hit refresh. You should get a good, good output. We are pumping it out at 1440p, 15 megabits. So you should have a nice, crisp, pretty picture. That is for sure. Greetings from Mexico. Lewis, how are you doing, sir? So yes, not a whole lot lost here in our progress, which is good to see. that going Get back here and we know that we're going to oh I hadn't moved my hadn't parked my cedar let's go ahead and buy them fields them are fields we're gonna buy And uh, let's get to seating where we were previously. As I was saying earlier, I recorded my first DVDs I had to in probably 10 years this week. set up yeah my setup of a ball so I've got the gaming machine which would require a pretty pretty beefy UPS 
because it pulls up to 500 watts from the wall when fully cooking with sauce so we've got that then i have a whole network um ad blocker that runs on a little micro computer a little mini computer and uh it is right beside my wired network switch that gives me additional network ports so i would need to keep both of those up and running that'd be a, a second ups and then I would need a third ups to keep the two pieces of ISP machinery down in the basement up and running. And then that would assume, you'd have to assume then that the repeaters and everything that the ISP is using is also a... Uh, Is also battery backed up. I tell you, I bought a 256 gig flash drive this week. It was uh, it was 60 bucks, I think. 69 dollars. Oh, I think it is forever slow to write to. Well, I'm also trying to write 220 gigs to it, but it took like nine hours. It was painful. It was still writing when I left work. I have to say this this cab with this giant beam in the middle of your view what's the logic in that seriously we've got this giant bar obstructing my view I get that's a door. But seriously. Oh, here it is. There's our logo. Look at that. All right. That's on the farmer's only version of the map. Sadly.
Ah, now we can get something. Maybe it's a little different green. Spawns on the other side. We need some pallets of lime. the new disable camera collision it has some wonderful side effects That's how you know the occlusion calling is working. That literally everything behind us is not being rendered until we turn around. That is a completely different tractor. That's right, M man, that's why it does that. So that is I think one of the reasons why Giants didn't put out a camera collision mod themselves early on is they basically said that they were working on it and trying to get it to work the way they wanted. Meaning, you know, you didn't see part of your tractor or none of your tractor until the camera was no longer technically in the building because the building wall that you don't see anymore because it doesn't have the texture is occluding your visibility Uh, we got rain yesterday and the day before. I assume that maybe have been part of the storm, but it was it was a warm rain. It was it was 50 on Thursday, pretty much all day. The low and the high was 50, and it was uh, maybe a little cooler yesterday, maybe in the 40s. We had rain in the morning. It didn't clear up until afternoon. Yeah. So, like here. Right? Why, why would you... 
why would you put a texture on the inside of a building you didn't have any clue or you didn't expect anyone to go into? Right? There, watch. See the trees? Now they're gone because the game says, oh, I don't need to render those trees because you can't see them. That's what happens when the deer spawn right in front of you. Yeah, I don't know technically how it works. I do know that there was a reference in the um, there was a reference in farm a FarmCon presentation that in Giants Editor it's a checkbox. You know, you check does does this cause occlusion? So if you had a building and you were working on it in Giants Editor. You would click on, let's say, the wall, and you would give a checkbox, and you'd say, check, you know, this this wall does cause occlusion. I should go the other way. Yeah, if you like to use the um, additional game settings mod and you turn that functionality on, you will occasionally see some interesting artifacts of the occlusion calling process. Oh, look. We do on the Discord. Right now, it's, it's not so functional. But we do have a around we do have a dis community discord but give me a discord server harvest some more soybeans potatoes oh what the heck oh, I think his texture pack is over at his discord is it not collectibles no collectibles on this one uh, I guess maybe his does he have a Discord invite on his Facebook?
Oh, so there's an invite link on his Facebook. Circle C Saloon. Diablo del Toro, I think it's more by design. That way. So what field do we need to go to? Field 48. Oh, way over here. Okay, so we'll go across, down, up. Okay. Boy, follow me sure would be nice. Hendrick, I totally agree, right? The doubters and the haters, well, they don't know what they're missing and they don't really care. They don't seem to care what they're missing. Which is fine. It is fine. Now, I wonder why they didn't put the uh, season thing in the base map. Are in the the mod the Giants mod hub delivered version of the map. Oh, I guess I could. What some some stinker. Stinker went and hit a mailbox. Are you gonna go? Are you gonna go? Maybe they'll go when uh, the other person gets where they're going. I don't know. So Hunter, all right, so you're good to go. No fertilization needed on that field.
I need to fertilize this field. Uh, no, it's just a, it's a, it's an XML file that's in the map. That's the only difference is the growth file is in the map. Hendrick, there's been a few, quote, geos released. Uh, they all require manual addition to a map. So unless something else happens, it looks like geos are going to be either not customizable by console players because they require manual intervention or there's going to have to be something that's, that's updated to kind of allow that. But for PC players, we're able to put the uh, the weather or the growth calendar XML in our map. So he needs to get that on the Giants mod hub. Ah, well, there you go. Since it's a script, it's, again, limited. Where are you going? Oh. I didn't want to cancel your job. Why are you going to see this is, I just don't like this AI helper stuff. This is why I stopped using horseplay. When you end up fixing it constantly, then why even use it? What was wrong with the uh, the setup before? Because there's water here. It's having to go through water break it. Go to here. Start. It's so hard about it. 
great. Yeah, I'd be curious, I mean, be curious why it wasn't in the, um, the Mod Hub release. I'm pretty sure it's just swapping out, uh, one or a few XML files. We've seen PC maps be released without grips that have custom growth schedules our growth calendar. I can understand the texture pack because that probably makes the file size even bigger. And likely may prohibit, you know, good gameplay slot count on the older gen consoles. Well, Hendrick, quality is very subjective. So it depends on what you call quality. I would say European maps usually have a bit more details. They have typically more decorative elements about. But I would also say that this map is likely intended to be an American map. Yeah, you know, given the fact that we have the American flag here on this cell point and everything. But I would say this map, in my opinion, has some pretty nice details at cell points and other areas of the map. So if you're saying quality equals visual details, then yeah. But if you define quality in other ways, maybe, maybe quality is based on field shape, field size, field count. Is quality based on custom buildings, custom things versus just using Giants delivered assets? I think a lot of the stereotypical American maps preclude themselves from high levels of details because they are maps with big fields and then often have a very sparse town associated with it or no town at all and just have some cell points kind of off to the sides because their focus as a map maker is providing maximum field sizes and maximum areas for agriculture and farming. So, and that comes down to the person making a map. But yeah. And I think a lot of that is the difference between maybe, you know, the east coast farms versus the midwest farms i live on the east coast i've always lived on the east coast we're much smaller farming fields are smaller fields are often just like this right up to the uh, forest edge tree edge 
you make fields out of what you can because you don't have an overabundance of land just out there to make use of. Whereas in the Midwest, it's like you've got land for as far as you can see. So if you want to have a, a 50 foot or 100 foot buffer between the field edge and a tree line, you can do that because you have an overabundance of field or of land. Yeah, see, and, and I can see as far as the next hill, which isn't that far. Crazy big. So this this map kind of has both of those vibes to it. large fields but also has a decent level of, of overall decoration there's not a ton of houses there's not a ton of uh, of extra right most of the PDA is available for farm use when you do get around to residential areas or business areas there are some some decorative elements you know we've got a little bit of a yard here not a whole lot of stuff going on but a little bit of a yard say Midwest farming I think I think if people that never left the Midwest came out here to Virginia they would probably wouldn't have a clue what you would do how can you get around with with all these trees and 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 curves and 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 everything I think if yeah if I was out in Iowa I'd probably be like uh, is this all it is I can see why you guys are bored so often there's nothing to look at not Virginia. No, of its own country. Well, that's because, well, one thing, Mark, is, I mean, it's because the United States is so large. 
There's such a vast, vast difference in geography from from one state to the next, from one region to the next. So, I mean, no, no direct offense intended to anyone of, let's say, you know, in, in the UK, but we all know the UK is substantially smaller physically than the US, and therefore it's, it inherently is, is going to be less diverse in its geography not saying it's all one type of geography it's just inherently it is going to be less diverse because it's physically much much smaller going where are you going dude I'm glad you found the road finally Yeah, we live about three hours from Nova. I was wondering when you were going to decide to turn. the thing goes I like that like those guardrails that bend down that was cool and funnel in so curvy roads and trees that's all we got around here curvy roads and trees And hills. If you're not going up or down a hill, well, you're driving right toward one. Or how are you doing, sir? Potato field is directly ahead.
Now, let's see here. We're one day a month. Soybeans. They're good. Potatoes. They're good. So I won't have to worry about advancing in a month. I just like watching this thing unfold. And we're ready for business. Be a great this would be a fabulous field for a big multiplayer session <laughs> Andrew that is funny Rob, are you ready for Monday night? Legion, welcome, sir. Pull, you want to pull on this? All right, let's do a pull. Answer in the poll. <laughs> You'll never know the truth. This field that we were seeding. We need to go get more seed. That's right, M man. <laughs> we know we've all done it. Just who wants to admit it?
Who's blocked by an object? Yes, you were. You know what? We're just gonna do this. Oh, Phil, just Phil. Phil. Just to save time. <laughs> you never saw anything happen. We never added seed to that for the sake of keeping things moving. Right, we never would do that. In man, I just use the, the dash cheats, which automatically makes you run faster. Speed sync would be nice. Eventually, it'll come. Boy, it would be nice. Backwood, boys. Thanks for coming back. I think this map is pretty nice. Looking forward to its release on the Giants Mud Hub. And you can find it over at FarmersOnly.club if you sign up for them. Where do we need to take this? Hobo's Farmer's Market. That's down here. as soon as Giants is done testing and okay is the release right yeah the, the mod hub version won't include the various farmers only club branding on the um, on the signage and we'll 
turn here. I think we'll be back tonight on Elm Creek. Working more on that map in about four hours. There's going to be a mod drop in, or mod video drop in just a few minutes at the top of the hour. It's going to be for PC players that are looking for maybe some diversity in their production gameplay. It's a bit of a modder profile of a modder that posts a lot of his work over at kingmods.net. Right now he's got up to 20 production mods out there. Be worth a look. Uh, Hendrick, that might be what is coming in a year at the end of 22. Because we're going to get a new map and lots of new machinery. So what better time to introduce a new prop than with a new map? So I want to thank everybody for coming out and watching both parts of today's live stream because right at the top of the last hour it seemed like we just lost power for a few seconds. So we had to fire back up. Glad we got to fire back up and didn't lose too much progress in the meantime. Hopefully next week we will see Hobo's Hollow get released over to the Giants Mod Hub. But like I said, for PC players, you can sign up over FarmersOnly.club, link down in the description, and get started with their multiplayer service, and then have access to this map from there. percent of the contract transported so see you all in four hours and be sure to check out the mod video just dropped oh thank you very much Greg, thank you very much.